At the beginning of this century, the British company Supercat developed a new series of armored vehicles for the British military, which can perform various tasks such as battlefield reconnaissance, assault, fire support, and transportation. These vehicles are called tactical support vehicles, and they are the Jackal and Coyote. The Jackal I, also known as MWMIK, Mobility Weapon Mounted Installation Kit, is a 4x4-wheeled armored vehicle weighing about 6.6 .6 tons. It replaced the previous Land Rover armored vehicle in the British military and has become the main equipment for overseas British forces. The Jackal I has an open-top structure with some armor protection around the vehicle. The front of the vehicle is the position for the driver and one gunner, with the driver on the right. The armored vehicle is powered by a six-cylinder turbocharged diesel generator, producing 185 horsepower, paired with an Allison 5-speed gearbox. The vehicle's maximum speed is 80 km per hour. The wheels are equipped with run-flat tires, each with independent suspension, and the chassis height is adjustable. Behind the front position is the location of the engine and gearbox, and further back is the main weapon operator position, which can accommodate one to two people. Various types of machine guns, such as the M2, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, can be mounted on the weapon mount. The rear of the vehicle is a simple cargo platform, which can transport a certain amount of supplies, making it very useful for long marches, as it can carry fresh water, food, fuel, and other supplies. The vehicle does not have an enclosed crew compartment, which is related to its combat positioning. Usually, it does not engage in frontline combat, but is more involved in low-intensity combat, where adequate light weapon configurations and a wide field of view are important, allowing the crew to effectively utilize light weapon firepower. The vehicle is protected by armor on all sides and the bottom, with a certain resistance to explosive impact, and the seats are designed with shock absorption. The Jackal I was first deployed in Afghanistan in 2008, and its reliability and off-road performance have been proven in combat. However, its inability to provide full protection is a major drawback. Perhaps learning from combat experience, the Jackal II armored vehicle was introduced in 2009. It adjusted the weapon mount position to be more forward, making it easier to deliver firepower in all directions, and the vehicle's armor was strengthened, providing stronger protection against roadside bombs. The Coyote armored vehicle is another deeply improved version, with a weight increase to 10.5 tons and an effective load of nearly 4 tons. It has an additional rear axle and is in a 6x6 configuration, generally crewed by four people. The larger Coyote armored vehicle can be paired with the Jackal, allowing it to transport larger equipment and be used to tow trailers, artillery, or other equipment. Its functions overlap with those of medium and light trucks, making it very practical for overseas deployed forces, as it can perform multiple tasks with one type of vehicle, without the need for various types of vehicles. Currently, the total number of Jackal and Coyote armored vehicles in service exceeds 500, with the most being the Jackal I-2. The British Army, Air Force, and Navy all have different numbers of Jackal or Coyote armored vehicles, which are deployed in various overseas battlefields and European bases. There are no records of other countries purchasing these vehicles, although Estonia once borrowed four vehicles from the British military.